Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to explain two different ways to reverse the number sign from positive to negative or negative to positive. So here I have a simple example of a journal entry with some uh, debits here in the left column and credits in the right. And we want to reverse the signs uh, for all these different numbers here from negative to positive. And then in the credit column, we might want to reverse these from uh, positive to negative. So there's a few different ways to do this in Excel. The first way is to just multiply, just to create a formula and multiply this number by negative one. So in cell uh, D2 here, we could just type equal sign and then select this cell right here, B2, and then multiply by negative one, and that will change the sign from negative to positive. And that would work as well uh, from changing a positive number to a negative number. So here we could do equals and then multiply that by negative one and same thing there. So we could copy those formulas uh, down and across to change all of the signs. Now, if we didn't wanna create a new formula with new columns uh, with these results, and instead we just wanna change these existing numbers here in, in columns B and C, we can do that with the paste special command. So to do that, we're just gonna first put a negative one. I'm just gonna type negative one here in this cell. It can be any blank cell, so it'll be cell E2. And we're gonna copy that. So control C or right click copy. We'll see that's now copied to the clipboard. And now we're just gonna select, first we'll just select this single cell here and we're going to do a paste special. So right click paste special or alt es on the keyboard will bring up this menu here and then we're going to choose this multiply operation so what this is going to do is it's going to take this the value that's currently copied to the clipboard which is negative one and it's going to do a paste operation to multiply the selection of cells that we currently have selected and multiply those by negative one. So we only have this cell selected right now. So if I hit okay, that will do that multiplication. We can see now this cell is changed to positive number. So what if we want to apply this to all of the cells here, all of these cells? Well, we can do that as well. I'm going to go ahead and undo that last action. So we now have a negative here and we still have this copy to the clipboard. So all we need to do, is we can select all these cells here, do the same thing. Just right click, copy, paste special. I'm sorry, right click, paste special, go to multiply and then hit OK. And you can see that that's done the uh, multiplication on all the cells and reversed all the signs. Now it's also created these zeros here because any blanks cells it's multiplying those by negative one and it just uh, basically says zero times negative one equals zero and we might not want those zeros right there so again I'm going to undo this and to fix that we can first select all the cells that just contain values and we can do that with the uh, go to special menu so on uh, the home tab of the ribbon, if we go over here to find and select, there's a go to special option. A uh, keyboard shortcut here would be F5 and then hitting the special button. So we could also just press F5 on the keyboard and then the special button, and that'll bring up this go to special menu. And then from there, we just wanna choose constants. So this constants is just gonna select any cells that contain values. If these contain formulas, you could choose formulas instead, but these cells here just contain values. So for that, we're gonna choose constants and then click okay. And now we can see that only the cells have been selected that contain values. And now we can do a right click paste special again and choose multiply and we'll hit okay. And that will do that multiplication to only the cells now that are selected. So that looks a lot nicer. It preserves our original formatting here with these uh, values in each column. And we've just reversed the sign in each for each cell by multiplying it by negative one using that paste special command. So that's probably the ultimate solution for this kind of journal entry scenario. Now we can also apply this same technique to cells that contain formulas. So on this sheet here, I have a similar example, but in this case, these cells contain formulas. They contain this VLOOKUP formula, and we might wanna reverse the sign, but also retain or keep this formula in the cell. We don't necessarily wanna change this to values or mess this up. So we can use the paste special for this as well. So I'm gonna put a negative one here in cell D2. And then again, I'm just gonna copy it, Control C or right click copy and we'll select all of these cells right here and then right click paste special 
and we'll choose multiply and then hit OK. And we can see that's reversed all the signs. But if we look at one of these formulas here, we could see that the VLOOKUP formula has been retained and a multiplication symbol times negative one has been added to the formula for us. So the paste special command actually adds that uh, times negative one to the formula for us. So it retains our formulas. So it's a great feature there as well using that paste special command. So I hope that helps. Of course, if you have any questions at all, please leave a comment below and I'll be happy to help answer them. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.